<laughs> you know, it was a big standout for me, right? It was that uh, throughout the season, especially from the very beginning uh, of the season, we always felt like we were really behind, you know, behind the eight ball. We all had our doubts, you know, from from the uh, from the last year's paddlers to the captains to the, and the coaches, right? And so, if, if, at, at every event, we pushed it, we pushed it as hard as we get. We had high expectations all the time, and it kept getting knocked back, kept getting knocked back, you know, to a point where we sort of we're literally scratching our heads to sort of wonder, you know, what 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 were we going to do to get uh, to to move forward? But it was great to see that every race meet, the guys were slowly but surely pulling it together. So to see the difference between from one race meet to another, especially from Chinese Year years to the state campaign, where the guys can start really, that's when they really picked up, and they really started believing that uh, we really could do it. So when we got the result, the coming third at the state level, it was such a big celebration for that because we didn't expect ourselves. We never put pressure on ourselves at that point that we assumed that we were going to be number one. So any result we got from there, it was such a big accomplishment. So it's the same thing as it came to the nationals. Although we were quietly confident that we were at a good point in our uh, training, Whatever we got from there, we had a really good attitude about it. So when we came 30 and 500 meters, we were really, really happy. And even when we had our 2K, and we had, and we felt there was a slight mishap once in a while, we kept a really good positive attitude with the, with the fourth place. You know, the pressure was on. We, we we were working out that we had to come a certain position for the next day, but we were still keeping that positive attitude, a really good sort of uh, mindset that if we do well tomorrow. We're, we're, we're in a really good position to sort of make Macau. So when we actually got that second place, it was such a, you know, such a, it was the ultimate uh, outlet of that, that emotion. You know what I mean? All, all seasons, all season long, we never expected that result, realistically. But when we, once we got it, so that's why we, we, we didn't allow ourselves to get too far ahead of ourselves, you know? So when we got the result finally this season, that second was just as good as the first, as any. So that was awesome. I guess the most memorable thing for me, it's not really any one particular moment, but it's um, every single training session that we did sort of up, up until the national campaign, either if I'm by myself out jogging or if the guys are coming to my house to do some training, it's like um, you look at each and every one of them and we have one common goal to sort of come together and then at the end win this race. This one, just, it's just one, three days of racing, and but leading up to it, it's what, three, three, four months of just solid training and diet, so for me it's not the one particular moment that is, or one single race that um, stands out for me, it's the, it's each and every time that we got together, the guys, and we all trained, trained hard, you know, bust our balls, and, you know, and then at the end, of course, that's why I guess everyone was so emotional when we um, eventually qualified second, because, because of all those times before all that sacrifice we made beforehand, like all the time that we're taken out, I'm sure from work, from family, just to, to come together to train. I know I like um, made a lot of sacrifice in regards to work and family.
Um, one of the highlights for me would be just the amount of training that we've put in for this whole campaign. Uh, since Chinese New Year to now, I don't think we've ever been, well, for the past VADB seasons, I don't think any team or any crew of VADB has been well prepared or well trained. Um, I think we've been physically fit for the national campaign. Um, we train five times a week, commitment there from the boys and the girls. Uh, and you know, everyone's talking about what we've achieved and what we can achieve, but at the end of the day, it's what, you know, what the boys and the girls from the committee, from everyone that wants to put in, the effort they have to put in to get there. So one of the, that's a highlight for me for this season is that the path that everyone took to get there. Um, and the boys did you know, extra training outside of rowing. You know, Kang set up HCF. Um, Carl, Carl and Christine started talking about diet and you know, pointing everyone to the right direction, what to eat, what not to eat. And I think all these little things uh, played their part in make, uh, in giving us the result that we got at the national campaign. And it's just a stepping stone to Macau. Um, I think we've, yeah, we can continue with what we have now and continue to work on our training regime and what we already know and build up on that. Uh, I think we can't be stopped at Macau. Cool.